I can't seem to get warm. Oh, dear. You put another log on the fire. Okay, then. Warm that up. <laughs> but... I still... I think I've got a fever. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, I've still got the flu. Well, you, that's been, what, four days now? Four days. And I, I think I'm developing some sort of smudge in my head. <laughs> which... Which might show up later on during the monologue. No, it just comes and goes, does it? Life? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That's very philosophical of you, Friday night, saying that. Life yeah. kind of comes and goes. Kind of comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anything else? Anything else that comes and goes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, relax, everybody. We're not going to be rude tonight. <laughs> Yeah, well, I see you're reading. What are you reading? Uh, the story of the heart by Dick Cheney and uh, a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's probably pretty good. <laughs> if you're doing a late night joke, you have to say, well, if Cheney's going to do a good book about the heart, he'll, he'll have to have one. Ha ha ha. Yay. Yeah. Feeling all right, man? You're all right? Ah, it's the flu meds. They're kind of getting me down. I feel my head's getting smudgy. I... <laughs> my nipples feel pale. Got pale nipples? Pale nipples. That could be a sign of something. Wasn't that a... Didn't you dance under that name, Pale Nipples? <laughs> no, I thought it was a, an old Grateful Dead cover band. Oh, yeah, Pale Nipples. Yeah, they were great. <laughs> did you follow the Grateful Dead? I did, yeah, for a while. I was with them. I was on tour with them. <laughs> I'm very grateful. I'm... I'm... I'm dead. Oh. So you're proof then there's life after death? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, plug my ass into a wall and I'll never stop. Well, I guess you can relax, philosophers. Life after death. Just plug your... What, what? what? What, what? What did you do there? I just did this. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's giving me a funny look tonight. Yeah, what, is, what is going on? I don't know, he's a racist. Racist. Some kind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's a pensive racist. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> thinking about more ways to hate different <laughs> ethnicities. <laughs> How can I hate even more people? He's developed an Irish accent as he well. Has, you know, is that? Has, yeah. How can I hate even more people <laughs> who are different from me only in their genetic makeup? This is going to be a great one. What, this show? Oh, yeah. Why would it be different from all the other crappy yeah, shows we've done? Crap, yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Sponsored by Zentac. No pill relieves heartburn faster. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. That you really care about me, and in no way I've been forced into cheering <laughs> by a desperate, sweaty man whose very job relies on it. Give me a ten, everybody! Give Come me a on, ten! Please. please! I'm just a warm-up guy. If you don't do this, I'll get fired! 
And he would. <laughs> no, no, we are nice to people here, aren't we? <laughs> no, we are. We'd never yeah. fire a warm-up comedian for not warming up the audience properly. <laughs> Look, why would we expect competence in a warm-up comedian when we don't ask for it anywhere else in the show? Very true. Very including true. here. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. It's been, I have to say, I have to say, it's been a little bit of a tough week for me. I've got flu all week. Can you see my eyes still oh, puffy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, my nipples are discolored. Yeah. I noticed that last night, yeah. I'll get off, man. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want people thinking you see my nipples. <laughs> So it's day four of Flu Watch. Do we have the graphic for Flu Watch? <laughs> that's it. That's, yeah. that's a special effects budget for the whole year. Gone. <laughs> uh, also today, happy birthday to rock and roll legend Rod Stewart. Do you like Rod Stewart? Love Rod Stewart. I uh, love Rod Stewart. You know, he... Thanks, everybody. He's not here, though. <laughs> 68 today, 68. Wow. I know, he still looks great though. You got a picture of Rod Stewart? There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he's watching this, he'd be like, oh, this is nice. Oh. <laughs> if you like my body. <laughs> is it nap time yet? <laughs> Rod Stewart is an older Does he still person. sing that, if you want my body, and I think of it at 68? Can you still sing? I guess you can. What the hell? Sure, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want my body, and you think I'm sexy, remember I'm 68. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being 68. Nothing wrong you can still that. have sex if you're 68. You can! <laughs> you can, can, can't you? Sure you can, yeah. Who with? <laughs> Anybody you like. <laughs> Is that the rule? Yeah, that's right. After you, once you turn 68, you can have sex with anybody you want? Yeah, because you're, what? like, adorable by that point. <laughs> well, in that case, I feel a lot better about yeah. that. Uh, President Obama launched a preliminary search for the location of his presidential library today. Members of his team are pushing for his birthplace, but I'm thinking Kenya's a bit too far for our library. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Craig, <laughs> it's a joke, for heaven's sake. <laughs> It's a joke. It's a stupid joke. No, he wasn't joke. born in Kenya. Was he born in Kenya? No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah, a big movie opens today. It's the Legend of Hercules. You going to see it? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Have you seen the poster for it? Yeah, look at that. Ah. <laughs> look at the size of that helmet there. <laughs> Let's see the real poster. You get the real poster? Yeah, there you are. That's uh, the, uh, the, the Hercules is played by Kellen Lutz. Uh, he played a sexy vampire in the Twilight movies, so he's no stranger to sucking. <laughs> and, what? What? A vampire sucked the blood, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, the vampires. I have a vampire. I'd like to suck your blood. My guess is he'll be the first Hercules to sparkle. <laughs> Actually, he won't be the first Hercules to sparkle, I don't know. No, no. Uh, I'm sure the movie's great because it's in 3D. <laughs> That's how you know a movie is good. It's in 3D. <laughs> Critics are divided on the Hercules movie. Half of them say it's terrible, and the other half refuse to see it. Actually, though, <laughs> another Hercules movie is coming out late in the summer. That's the one I'm waiting for. I could tell you who will play Hercules in the next one, but that would spoil our game tonight. Oh, oh, that's our big yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, we're playing tonight. We're going to play Guess Who's Not Playing Hercules this year. Let's play! Yeah. That's right, Anderson Cooper is not playing Hercules this year. Uh, no, this summer, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is playing Hercules. They auditioned just about every big strapping muscle man in Hollywood. They almost gave it to Madonna. <laughs> That's true. Wait, is she 68 yet? Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah. According to Greek mythology, of course, now, Hercules was the son of Zeus. He was born with incredible strength, but it turned out to be a lie after he sat down with Oprah and confessed to using steroids. But... <laughs> Hercules was also an incredible dancer. At Mount Olympus discos, they used to call him Twercules. <laughs> and he had a little brother, uh, Testicles. 
Testicles was a bit of a sad sack, always <laughs> hanging around. He was, a little, he was a little bit nuts, actually. And then uh, Testicles died from a deadly pinch by his arch nemesis, Zippercles. <laughs> Zip. Oh, that's true. You can put it in your dissertation, kids. It'll work out. In 1969, a movie called Hercules uh, in New York came out. Do we have a poster for that movie? Look at that. Yeah, see who that is? That's right. It was Schwarzenegger's first movie. That's true. And they dubbed all of Arnold's lines with another actor. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> but I suppose that's what you get when you cast a guy as Hercules who sprains his tongue trying to pronounce Hercules. <laughs> What would that sound like, Jeff? Her, 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 screw it, where's the maid? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hercules movie is part of a sword and sandal genre. The other uh, sword and sandal films are uh, Gladiator, that was a good one, oh, yeah, with yeah. Russell Crowe, but he shouts, Are you not entertained? <laughs> many, many years ago, I stopped asking that question in this studio. <laughs> There's shouty dialogue in the sword and sandal movies. Are you not entertained? Tonight we dine in hell. Release the Kraken. Do they release the Kraken? Release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. <laughs> it was Liam Neeson, wasn't it? Liam Neeson, quickly. Yeah, release the Kraken. Release the Kraken. Quickly, there's no time. There's no time. Release Get the, the Kraken out. Quickly. What time is it? There's no time. The Kraken's here. Throw a grenade <laughs> in its mouth. Quickly. I have a very specific set of skills, and one of them is releasing the Kraken. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I will find you and release the Kraken! <laughs> it's a great slogan, uh, release the Kraken, not to be confused with the official slogan of the mayor of Toronto. <laughs> which is, of course, Jeff. Which is, yes. <laughs> which, which is, of course, release the crack. Release the crack. Release the crack. 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 <laughs> yeah. There you are, that's it. Good stuff. One yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's one of them late night monologues right there. Very topical, it? very funny. Yeah, and I've got the flu too. Yeah, you're powering through it, man. Powering through? Oh, well, I'm on a lot of medication. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it has no effect on me though. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it has no effect on me though. <laughs> sure. It has no effect on me though. Release the Kraken. <laughs> Prank. Oh, yeah. wow. That was a surprise. I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, there. very, very surprising. <sighs> <sighs> Commercial break time now? Sure, why not? You're watching The Late Late Show, the Trojan horse of late night comedy. Tonight we're doing the best we can, given the fact that I am so heavily medicated on various types of cold and flu medication. Various uh, medicines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel very, very strange indeed. It's good. I like that. I like. Really, I don't know. I don't like feeling strange. I stopped doing, uh, you know, illegal drugs some time ago. The the legal ones kind of leave me a little bit. What's that? What's that face you're making there? What is that? Did I make a face there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, it must be the the uh, medication I'm taking. Because I don't think. I don't think I'm making a f face. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Do you have a, a cold too? Yeah, oh yeah, I've got a little bit of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, I've got one of these things where I have to rub my eyes sometimes. Ah. Do you, you ever get a cold or the flu or something and you just have to go, oh, God. Ah. <laughs> Do it with me, Jeff. All right. Jeffrey Pearson. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who wrote a children's book called Pale Nipples and the Recurring Smudge. <laughs> Play the jingle, yeah. would you? Here come the players. Yeah. They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely. Making lots of macaroni. Chop your fork and get right to it. Craig's the one to see you through it. Hello. Tweets or emails, he don't care. So don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails. 
Email time again. What do the girls say when we go into the club, Jeff? They say, here come the players. Then what do they say, Jeff? They're so fine. Then what do they say, Jeff? Nothing, because they come home with us. <laughs> not even true. <laughs> it was like girls in the audience go, no! <laughs> yeah, but you would if you met the players. They're so fine. <laughs> uh, this is from Diane in Cincinnati. Uh, Craig, my husband, Paul. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey. Hey, Paul, what's hey. up? <laughs> well, because I was wondering if it was your husband, Paul, or some other husband. <laughs> My husband, Paul, falls asleep in his big chair. Oh, big chair. Oh, swanky. Ooh. Oh, I live in Cincinnati and I've got a big chair. Dumbledore, guys. <laughs> My husband, Paul, falls asleep in his big chair watching your show every night. Can you yell at him to make him come to bed? Go to bed, Paul! <laughs> yeah. This is from Leanne in Menlo Park in California. You ever been there? Oh, I've been to Menlo Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, Jeff, but I think I know the answer. What's your favorite part of Menlo Park? <laughs> the men. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a surprise. Yeah. Uh, dear Craig, are you going to tell Bob Saget that you hope he wins the Grammy the same way you told the, uh, that to Kathy Griffin? Yeah, probably. <laughs> People in show business, all they hear is blah, 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 their own name, blah, 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 their own name. Right, Jeff? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is from Margo in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. You ever been there? Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you like about that? Oh, the cigarettes. <laughs> Can you mention cigarettes on TV? Because I know you get very worried about the uh, population of the United States being corrupted by watching this show. <laughs> if I mention perhaps cigarettes or, or uh, alcohol or a cuss word, or like, you know... I caramba! Or, What's that coming to go? Something like that. <laughs> like, you get upset. Can I say those words tonight? <laughs> You're a racist, man. <laughs> Dear Craig, who, who brought Secretariat that new blue scarf for Christmas and what happened to the old red one? Yeah, what happened to your old scarf? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with Bob Saga. I'll be right back. My, my next guest is nominated for a Grammy for his album. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is my Grammy nominated album. I'm very happy you're here, Bob, and I'm very happy you get nominated for your album. It's so much smaller than yours. Yeah, it is. I see that. I'm surprised they're in the same category, because look at your album. But oddly, when we're home alone together, it's a different kind of sizing. <laughs> <laughs> two things, two things, Bob. One, yes. I've never been to your home. No, that's true. But... And two, you, I've never seen your pee, -pee so don't say... <laughs> I'm really sorry that I started this way. Look. You're uh, sick, and I feel a little scared to catch what you have. Oh, well, okay. Here, right. here, you get some of that on you. Thank you. This is actually filled with your phlegm, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> and you are feeling it's not squirting. Oh. Again, things we, things <laughs> that, we don't... I've had that problem before. <laughs> here, here's this one. You did. Here, it takes a gentle not... touch to get this one to squirt. <laughs> Where did you... See, I got it to work, but then again, Bob, I'm That's... European. That's... <laughs> and... Where'd you get this? The 44 cent store? Yeah. This is, that's the best joke on my comedy album CD. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, and I was excited when uh, you're 
pretty much the person. I had a friend call me up that told me, <laughs> let us pray that we stay clean. Um, I had a friend, I can't count them apart, what is in that? Um, I had a friend, I had a friend, that's it. Yeah, well, that's my whole story. That was my panel. <coughs> oh, may I have that? Yeah, sure, here. Let me uh, just run that down to the lab. No, it's, uh, oh, oh my God. God. Is there anything in there? Yes, there is now. Do you want some? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gonna get some tofu and uh, oh no, no come on! So you had a friend. I did and, have a friend. Uh, you guys went off somewhere and <laughs> we, uh, we and discovered off. yourselves. And they, they caught us behind a dumpster. So and, um, <laughs> no, and he call, he uh, texted me. I was out to dinner and said you got nominated for a Grammy uh, for your comedy album. That's what I'm talking about. I said you, he didn't say all that. I just tried to add that. Right, I uh, so that yeah to plug it. And then I said that's not true. And then I went right to Twitter. And then uh, I said, is this real? Is this good? And you went, yes, Bob, it's good. Because <laughs> I was quite not understanding it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a very good thing. Yeah, and then I it's... tweeted, you tweeted that you were holding smokes or something, that you were, you used some interesting word like you use, like flaboingen or something. Or flaboingen something. is probably Boingen. what I said. Flaboingen! <laughs> something Dutch and Jewish, you know, <laughs> which uh, Michael doesn't like because of his well, racist. He's a racist. Yeah, yeah, I was there, yeah. Terrible. I would, yeah, yeah. I would not like to have seen him at Ellis Island. Um... <laughs> Well, if he was, if he'd have been at Ellis Island, none of us would have gone in. No. He'd have been like, no, no, go back, no, he no. Can you say it again, but not dirty? <laughs> he, I've known him a long time. Though he might have given me a sandwich, and then sent me back to the old country, something like that. Sure. So I got the tweet. So I look at your Twitter, and then I say, uh, you know, can I'll listen to yours if you listen to mine. Yeah. And you said, no, we are still deadly enemies. Yes, yeah, absolutely. But I, I will have lunch with you on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, I, 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 we had lunch, and it was lovely, and, and we had delicious. the same thing. We had exactly the same thing. Yeah. What was her name? <laughs> Bob, we're both in our 50s now, man. It just sounds creepy. It's, it sounded creepy no matter what age. Yeah, that's at. true. Yeah, but, but it sounds extra creepy the older you get. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. You have the same birthday, though, of course. We do. Yeah, uh, except, except you're older than me. I am older than you, and I will always be that. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> Unless you discover something new. I mean, uh, Jeff's capable of sending you into a future time that you don't want to go to. I wasn't aware of that. I thought he was just a crappy appliance that was plugged into the wall. I didn't know he had all these. Uh, kiss my flaboygan. <laughs> He's a seven dollar sidekick. I've never seen. Yeah, him. yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, uh, are you excited about getting a Grammy? Then, do you gonna? It's you think a... you're gonna get it? <laughs> <laughs> Put an echo on it. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. We ain't getting Grammys. No, that was, the, one of us. that was the, the point of the lunch. Was yeah. that that was our celebratory? And yeah, might as well do it now. Just yeah. the two of us. Have you, do you, but does it matter to you these award things? Did I'm you, really excited. I've, I was nominated for. I think you know. I got a student academy award when I was 21. Really? Yeah. I so got that, that. Uh, what was that for? That was I don't know. Full no, house? It was for a, a film I made called Through Adam's Eyes. So it was a student film. Oh right. So it's been that gap. So it's like a 30 year gap to get to. Yeah, he must have won a bunch this, for Full House. There must have been like Emmys and stuff. Yeah. I got stuff. From, they, they gave me stuff like signs, stay away, you know. <laughs> ah, come a lot of court, on. A lot of court orders. You didn't um, no, come on, man. <laughs> no, we weren't nominated. That show, believe it or not, it wasn't. You'd think a People's Choice Award or something because it's kids. Yeah. But pe people didn't like it when it first started. Now people are obsessed with uh, Full House. Well, once there. shows go off the air, people like them more. That's because they, they have more hipster value. That was my place to put a dig in about you, but I can't. Yeah, I know. I left it wide open. I thought, what yeah. the hell, man? Are you taking the night off or no, what? No, I'm, I'm a giant fan and friend of yours, and, and you talked to me during my moment of Grammy nomination. It meant a lot to me. Ah, you were excited, man. too. I am excited. I'm excited I, to be nominated, but... But you can't go to it. it. You what? can't go to No, the... I can't. I got a gig in uh, Canada. But... Where's the gig? You want to say where? So maybe I'll go to it. Uh, it's, uh, it's, in, uh, it's a Canadian town. <laughs> <laughs> we can add it later. Oh, no, we can't. We're live. Damn it. I saw something today that yeah. was really weird. Like, I'm going to make a right turn on Beverly from Highland, right? So just like, just, just a right turn, it's busy traffic, and there's an old lady going across the road. So I stop, right, to let her go by, and she stops too and looks at me, and I'm like, it's okay, on you go. And she went like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I started laughing, and she did it again. She was really angry at me. That's so strange. Yeah, and then I realized it was probably you. No. I know that because I wasn't wearing a dress today. That's why I know that. But she... Uh, okay, I was. But, All right. But I can't believe somebody flipped you off like that. You deserve yeah. maybe... 
she got to be. People a do fan. it all the time in LA, don't they? Everybody's you can't, you can't do it. I flipped off a guy once, and because tailgating's been really bad, all the people have been, it's gotten worse. I, right, it's because people are texting all the time. I called, I called nine one one a couple times seriously. And, really? And they said, "Where's the person?" And then I said, "Well, they're at uh, Hill Guard now, but they'll be at the four hundred five in forty seconds." Right. And uh, it was me. <laughs> and then you I called nine one one on yourself? No, I. You were an attention whore. No, I. That is true. Well, that, that I, I actually, that just, I actually am an attention deficit whore. Uh, yeah, I really, I, I need, I need to say something quickly. I, you need to say something quickly? That's what it. Is. Oh That's no, what. listen, I. Uh, you know what I remember? I it was about Christmas. I was uh, in <laughs> Scotland. I was in Scotland over the Christmas period. And you and I were getting the flu. Right. And, um, in a castle? Was that where you were? In a, in a castle, yeah. Is that because you wear a kilt? Is that the truth? Because if you, if you wore a onesie, if you wore a onesie, you would not... <laughs> if you wore a onesie, you would not have no flu. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say properly. But you had your... You, had your you, should, you should tweet that out, homie. I can't. I gotta if untweet. you wore a onesie, <laughs> then you wouldn't have no flu. <laughs> they, they're not going to let me go to the Grammys. <laughs> Yeah, they'll let you go. They won't let you in, but they'll let you go. I'm bringing but, my... I'm bringing... Uh, fit, fit, so, fit, fit. anyway, so I'm in, in the middle of the night, because Scotland is eight hours ahead, and I get a tweet from you and John Mayer, who yes. are at the Chateau Marmont, saying, hey, come on over. I'm yeah, like, we... Wait, we, wait, I'm, I have kids. I'm not going to the Chateau Marmont with you and John Mayer. I have kids, but they're grown up. Well, your and... kids are grown up. My kids are still asleep in bed, beautiful and innocent. Oh, it's L.A. Just, just bring them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got the kids. You get, your kids want a shot? Yeah. No, we wouldn't be. So are you buddies it. with John Mayer? Yeah, we've been friends a while. Yeah. He does. He does stand up once in a while. He's done my benefit that John you have Mayer done. John Mayer does stand up. He does just with uh, a couple times with me. He's, he's very funny. Is he really? Yeah. But you've done the Slurderm of Research Foundation benefit, and he's done it. So it's you know, people that help. I didn't know he did stand up though. That'd be interesting to funny. see that. He's a funny guy. I, I hope he's not good. He's. He's got like eight Grammys. He like won them. Yeah, but that's for singing and playing music. Crikey. He's been brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. We got to go to lunch together. <laughs> I'm taking yeah. my daughter to it. You'll be uh, doing a gig, and I'll be taking my daughter to you the You take Grammys. your daughter to the Grammys? Yeah, one of them. So the other two are feeling a little dissed, probably. <laughs> that's, that's the right thing to do, divide and conquer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it took me... When you're a really smart dad, you eventually do have to pick your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more painting tips from Bob Saga. Everybody, I'm here with Bob Saget. We were discussing cold and flu remedies because uh, yeah. I've got a cold and a flu. Is it a cold or a flu that I've got, Doctor you, Saget? You, you Doctor what? Doctor Saget. <laughs> you 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 feed a cold and you starve a fever and you do them uh, rectally. That's what I learned as a child. How do you so. starve yourself rectally, Bob? Well, you'd put nothing in your butt for a day, but you. Um... I'm afraid I'm not prepared to go that far. <laughs> I'm out of that contest. <laughs> no, you gotta, I guess you gotta eat when you're sick. Have you been eating? Yeah, sure, I eat all the time. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a fever right now? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. oh, let, me, let me check it, turn around. <laughs> so that's... If you're gonna do that, then I'll have to twerk while you're taking my temperature. <laughs> Give a Sharpie, I wanna draw numbers on my fingers. No, so no, like, no, no, no. What? <laughs> they came here, they're so upset. <laughs> So, get better. Uh, you too. And, and thanks, and happy... <laughs> <laughs> Bob Saget, everybody. Thank you. Right Beautiful and talented actress. She stars in Suburgatory, the third season of which premieres January the 15th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jane Levy, everybody, Jane Levy. I'm 
I'm sorry for not touching you and being demonstrative and creepy, but I'm, I don't want to get you sick with my germs. I actually don't care. Like, really? No, I, I have like an unhealthy... <laughs> almost, like, I am not scared of germs at well, all. Well, I think you'd be scared of these ones. I feel very sad. Have, have you had a flu shot this year? No, I don't do that. Well, see, I... What do you mean you don't do that? <laughs> no. I don't... I don't... I don't... I'm not, I'm not gonna get sick. Well, see, the thing is, I got a flu shot and said I was not gonna get sick, and see? I got sick. That's why I don't need to get a flu shot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you don't have kids. I don't have kids. But see, I got kids. They bring, they, they go out and collect germs Dirty, and bring them home. Kids. Dirty little pokers. <laughs> they go out and poke and pick at things and come home and wipe it on your face. That's disgusting. <sighs> when adorable. I was a kid, uh, I had a booger wall. Hang on, hang on. I think this needs a bit of therapy. <laughs> So, you had a booger wall when you were a child? Yeah, I, like, was somehow proud of the amount of boogers that came out of me, and I had a side table. I'm sorry. For this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you think there is a moral component to boogers? I thought... I don't know. I thought it was, like, fascinating that I had this stuff that came out of me, and I was, like, proud of how much I could accumulate on my side table. And my mom found it, and she got really mad at me. <laughs> I think she'd be more concerned that you were going to make yourself ill no, through she... your booger collection. I would, like, go to sleep looking at my boogers and somehow that, like, comforted me or something. So anyway. boogers were your only friends when you were a child? Yeah. All right. Where did, where did you grow up? I'm from Marin County. Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, booger freaks. Yeah, I don't know. Did you have siblings? I did, yeah. Do they have booger issues? I don't think he had any booger issues. I think it was just me. It's like this weird, like... Do you still have a booger wall? I don't have a booger wall. All right. But you're not grossed out by boogers, clearly. I'm not grossed out. And I also, like, my mom... I grew up in Marin. My mom's, like, lax about germs and dirt and... You're making her sound like <laughs> one of the best moms ever, she I have to really, say. She is a really good mom. But I actually... This is, like, really embarrassing. Well, but let's have but, it. But it's not as embarrassing as a booger wall or just as embarrassing. But I didn't know that picking your nose in public was not okay until I was too old. So I think I spent, until like seventh grade, somebody was like, ew, you're disgusting, stop that. And I was so ashamed because I thought it was something that you just do is pick your nose. I didn't know until you said it that you, uh... <laughs> Actually, you know what, it's all making my nose very itchy with the... Oh, oh gosh, this is really bad. Uh, do you have any remedies? Your mom in Marin County, does she have any remedies? No, for... no. But I did have a friend who I, I thought her mom was a witch, and she used to make, like... Are you potions. a witch? Perhaps you can cure No, her. I'm not a witch. I don't have any... You've got a black dress. I know. <laughs> and you got red hair. Fake red hair. Is that fake red hair? Yeah. <gasps> you bitch! <laughs> I didn't know it was fake red hair. What is your actual hair color? I, I'm blonde, naturally. Really? Yeah. Well, I know I'm an imposter. Why do you dye your hair red, then? It wasn't really by choice. A, a job dyed it red, and, and it's been red ever since. Oh, by its own accord? By... <laughs> well, I, people I work with like it red. I so think, I it, I it, think red. it looks nice. It seems to suit your complexion, and you look lovely. You know that... Um... <laughs> <laughs> that actually reminds me that... The la not only do I lie about my hair. Yes. I guess I'm here to tell you all the bad things. About oh, okay. My hair. Come on, it's, but, there's no judgment here. Tell me all about it. But um, last time I was here, yeah. someone told me that we talked about ice skating. Yeah, we did. I remember it clearly. I asked you if you went ice skating, and, and you I denied said no, it. which yeah. is so weird because I totally have been ice skating. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> I don't even know who you are anymore. You've been ice skating. I went ice skating a lot as a kid. Well, then why did you say? Then why did you say to me you'd never been ice skating? I don't know. I I really have no idea. Do I frighten you? <laughs> no. Sometimes you lie to like tell a better story, but that wasn't even a better. I would story. never do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you do. But I mean, how is that a better story? To, if I say, it's not. have you ever been ice skating? And you go, no. I go, well, I just... that's sort of fascinating story. <laughs> Wow, you really captivated me <laughs> there with your lack of ice skating. Yeah, I just... Why would I ask that, though? It seems like a dumb question. We were talking about my next ask. job. You were, like, deciding on 
what I should do, and it was a rom-com, and you thought I should get some oh, ice skates on, yeah, like yeah. zoom around on the ice. Well, what is your next job? I mean, you're doing suburgatory, you'll be doing that for a while, but what else? I'm making a musical next month. Nice! Is there ice skating involved? <laughs> no, but it's gonna be in Toronto, where it's gonna be... Well, it'll be... Freezing. Yeah, Toronto's freezing, it's cold. Yeah, but you, easy to get crack. <laughs> I don't want it. Not your thing? No, no, no just, just boogers. <laughs> Yeah. Have you been to Toronto before? No. Oh, it's a lovely city. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm not. No, it is. It's okay, nice. Okay. No, it really is. It's nice. okay. a huge cosmopolitan area All right. of, you know, buildings. Uh huh. Are you not excited about it? No, no, I'm excited. I just. Well, where have you traveled to that you did like? Um... Remember, you can lie. I, 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 well, I'm going to India on Sunday. What the? Tootsie fruits. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, in two days I'm going to India. Whereabouts in India? I'm going to Kerala, which I hope I'm pronouncing right. In the in the. I think it's actually Kerala. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to move your head. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> have you ever been to India before? No, have you? Ooh, yeah, no, I never have. No, I've... I'd like to though. Yeah. But I can't come on Sunday, unfortunately. Okay. Um, what do you go to India for? My aunt's a yoga teacher, and she's. Well, bringing... you really are from Marin, I aren't know. you? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Your aunt's a yoga teacher, so you're going to India? To do yoga with her. A yoga intensive? Yeah. Do you do a lot of yoga? Mm. <laughs> you're going to be doing a lot now. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> what kind of yoga is it? Um... Ice yoga? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's going to be like 90 degrees every day. Yeah. And we're on the ocean, and there's... It's... The weird thing about my trip is I actually don't know much about it. I know where we're going, I know when I'm getting there, and I know when I'm leaving, but I'm not exactly sure what we're doing there. I'm sort of just following the leader. My uh, who is your aunt? Yeah. Is it just you and your aunt? No, it's five strangers. <laughs> and my aunt... Do you mind if we send a film crew with you? Because <laughs> we need some bits for the show. This would be great. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, I hope it's really exciting. I mean, India is an exciting oh, place. Oh, I would imagine it would be fascinating. Yeah, but yeah. we're going to be staying in huts and doing yoga and meditating and eating to my dosha, which I don't know what that means yet. Right. I, th I think dosha is the bathroom. I think we'll be... <laughs> I think you'll be going to the dosha a lot. Yeah, you you'll be you're... dashing to the dosha. Yeah. Everyone I know who's gone there has pooped their brains out. Yeah, yeah. You... I've heard there's a lot of pooping involved. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Okay. <clears throat> boogers, pooping. Yeah, we did boogers and pooping and, uh, and your Lying. shameful lies about ice skating. Yeah, sorry. It's all right. I've got terrible... I can hardly keep my eyes open. You need some rest. Uh, I, I think I probably do. Yeah. But yeah, here I am in the middle. Ooh la la! Uh, <laughs> Smoking a pipe? Smoking a pipe. <laughs> Sucking on a pipe. Sucking on a pipe in the middle of the night. <laughs> Again. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. So, uh, I still feel I've got the flu, so I'm going to have to uh, go to bed now. I'm going to take my, uh, my plant uh, <laughs> and my uh, autograph, photograph of Pat Sajak. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, and just snuggle down. Just snuggle down with Pat Sajak. <laughs> Give the wheel an old spin, see what happens. Yeah. Me and Pat. <laughs> and a plant. <laughs> Wanna come? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> come on, then. Could, could you give me a push? <laughs> no. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs>